We're live. We are. Hi, guys. Can we just, just do a quick sound check? Can everyone hear us, please? We haven't got the fastest internet here. I believe we are. Excellent. I think so. Um, yeah. We, have, we haven't had an answer yet. Uh, just to say, um, obviously, our internet is slow everywhere in France, um, wherever we go. And this is uh, just an opportunity to finish some of the questions that we were asked last week that we couldn't answer all at the same time. So this is why we decided to do this. But, um, the next vlog, because we've been traveling, will be coming and released on Saturday. So you'll all get to... Um, see you on Saturday. We're working hard um, on our new software, <laughs> getting mm -hmm. to know that, new computers. And thanks to our patrons, we purchased um, and ordered and received our mics. So our quality of um, sound will improve as well, uh, which is obviously very good and gives us more practice with um, all the new equipment that we have. So we've invested, you guys have invested, and all of you watching have helped us to share our channel with everyone. So thank you very much. Yeah, so guys, um, there's, I've got a first question, which is quite good. Will we be doing any more Escape to Chateau DIY? Can't answer that. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, I'm going to have to leave that with you uh, for the moment. You will find out uh, at some point. So um, let's leave that there. That said, um, the show does wonders and there's some great people in it for people that really need to advertise and their business. And it's a great showcase. Um, I don't know our target market anymore because we don't do weddings. We don't do accommodation. We do the big public events uh, and they are really for local people. I'm not sure um, it's the best thing anyway, in as much as, uh, you know, you guys watching it all around the world aren't the guys that are going to come to our events. So, um, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. I've got, I'm up and down on it. So um, we've got some more questions. Well, let's just uh, let's have a look. What else have we got? Um, I had a question the other day, actually. Why do I always wear my sunglasses? Uh, really simple. I've always got bags under my eyes because I don't sleep particularly well. So I tried to hide them the other day. Um, cool. Um, let's get a couple more. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, we have a few. Let's just. Uh, uh, how are the ducks? <laughs> Sorry. How are the ducks? How are the ducks? Uh, very annoying today, actually. No, they not. No, they really were. They were eating everything, all of it, and then. Uh, as soon as um, they'd eaten everything, they went off for a little swim. Ten minutes later, they were coming back onto the bridge and sitting there until I fed them again. Yeah, they were particularly hungry today. I don't know why. No. Uh, yeah. we, we've been back, obviously, for uh, two days. Um, so, yeah, and they were really, really hungry. But they're excellent little cleaners around the moat. Um, so I'm very, very happy that we got them. If I could have more, I probably would because... You know, they're really good. And they get on together, really, really getting on really great, um, which is quite unexpected because I was told they sort of sit in their own little bunches. So, yeah, the duckies are great. <laughs> Noisy yeah, little buggers. They, they are, they are. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, they come on the bridge and then they, uh, uh, shall I say, leave a mess? You, you can read between the lines on that. So, yeah, uh, it does get a little annoying, but never mind. Um, cool. So... When will Shatter Rescue begin? That's the, probably the hottest question there is. Uh, yeah, I get that's asked a lot. Um, when it's finished, uh, we're, uh, Billy and I, uh, Billy more than me, is obviously a perfectionist. Um, we were really, really hoping that that would be out for about now, maybe in a month. Uh, lockdown obviously just really put us behind. Um, and we have so much stuff that we wanted to get in there because, you know, it's, been three years in the making to get to the, the sort of filming point but we're, we're not going to rush it because we want you to enjoy it as much as possible but don't worry um you should have a little teaser trailer coming sometime in the near future uh, um, just to give you an idea uh, about what's in it so um i will keep you posted don't worry it's very exciting i'm really really excited because 
just like you guys, you know, we love snooping around places. We love seeing the architecture and we love meeting the great people who um, give their time and devotion to um, do this. So um, it's very, very exciting. Cool. Stop shaking. Uh, sorry. No, it's not He's an doing even... that thing. He's shaking the laptop. It's not an even table. I, I built it, so of course it's not. <laughs> um, let me just... Sorry, guys. I'm just going through a few little questions, trying to get to get through everybody. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. There was something. Um, Christmas. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, long way away. <laughs> um, uh, plans for Christmas. Any parties with the other shouted guys? Um, I generally... Uh, try to avoid Christmas as best as possible. Uh, we have uh, a little group. Then when we uh, we call it the Orphans Christmas, um, those that don't have family here, we sort of travel around and see each other um, through December. Christmas Day, I uh, we held Christmas Day here last year. Who knows where we'll be doing it this year? We haven't got that far. Um, not so not like to see some of the other Chateau guys. New Year's a bit different. We usually see Billy, Gwen, and Michael on New Year's Eve. Um, Maybe it'll be special this year. Who knows? Um, I don't like to think that far ahead. Mm. Cool. So, da, 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 da. Well, there was a few more. Uh, Angelina, waiting while we try to get. Yeah. And we're back. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. It's going in now. Yeah, so um, I try and avoid this because um, I know that there's a lot of hooks off the roof, which you would have seen Phil put on when he was doing the Swan House um, roof changing with the tiles. So I know a lot of them have dropped down into the moat, into the ground, into everywhere, and typically nails as well. So you can imagine me going around with a metal detector and every inch she'll be going beep, 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 beep. Um, so I think it's pretty impossible um, to, to spend my time doing that. Um, something I would like once I have perhaps time in many years time. Um, but I think it's safe to say that it's not going to be um, so enjoyable when it's going off every you know, an inch, basically. Yeah, well, it would be quite enjoyable for me to watch. Uh, um, but, <laughs> me uh, digging up the garden and it looking like a bomb site has yeah. gone off. Okay, let's, let's, <laughs> let's avoid that. I don't want any more work. I've already how last minute I can have to travel. I'll just wait till I'll reconnect. Yeah, okay, cool. We're back. Um... <laughs> Right, so yeah, I, uh, basically it doesn't work for us with volunteers, sadly. We, I travel so much, um, I would always worry um, just leaving Angelina and volunteers last minute. Not necessarily that I have a problem with volunteers, but what if something happens that I have to deal with because a lot of work's going on? What if um, because of the work going on, something major breaks and it's only me that can fix it, which does happen a little bit. But um, it's more than that. It's... It's wonderful if you get to share their experiences and they get to share your experiences. But if you're just working flat out to a deadline and you're not really enjoying each other's company because you don't get the relaxation at the end of the day to be able to do that, it doesn't really, it's not really fair on the volunteers either. So um, not yet. Um, okay, so that's the volunteers. Thank you with that. Yeah, 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 definitely. You covered it. Um, this is a question for me that I am going to answer. Okay. Um, um, will you show us how to make lip balm? And the reason I want to answer this is because I've actually got something at the back of my mind and it's a project that I'm doing. Um, uh, you know, as you guys know, I was beauty therapy trained when I was really young and I do show you how to do a bit of pampering here at the Chateau, which is something that I do on my basically some days, um, treat days. And I've been thinking about this to separate and be quite specific so that I don't bore as many men watching uh, watching our vlog. I thought I would do a little sideline and um, it's not going to be weekly, but it will be fair fairly regular, maybe every two weeks or something. Um, and I was thinking of calling it Pampering at the Chateau, where it's just a bunch of different pamperings. And yes, I have made lip balms. I have made bath bombs. I've made deo like roll-on deodorants. I've made lots of stuff and I enjoy doing it. And sometimes I fail and then I'll try and do it again and get better at it. So there, there will be 
but um, there is nothing set uh, dates as yet. Uh, I'd like to get a few on the way. That way I'm not um, stressed up behind because even filming our vlog uh, takes a long time and editing, especially with the new computers now. And obviously try and get projects and get this place tidy and then events and then running our business and yada, yada, yada. You get the picture. So I'd like to have a few interesting ones. And the idea actually is that I tell you beforehand what you will be making and what ingredients you need to get and that way when you have it a week later and the video is about to get released we are actually all doing it together at once um which is kind of like a really like real time moving uh, i don't think it's going to be live but it's going to be all one video and it's going to be nice and simple and i'll be there obviously online to help you with any questions you have super so um uh, no, no glass of wine with me tonight. Uh, just water. Um, run well, out of wine. <laughs> run out of wine. And didn't drink it all. I did. I was editing the video and I was getting slightly bored. And then I thought, oh, well, I change of scenery, have a little motivational drink. And then it was so yummy. And I drank it all. And Phil came in and he said, where is all the wine got? And I said, it evaporated. A hole in the glass. Um, <laughs> cool. Let's just go back up. Sorry, guys, it's getting a bit difficult with all the stuff. Right. Will we get swans for the swan house? They are about 1,500 euros each. Um, so not, not, no, no time soon, uh, especially with COVID and everything going on this year. We're not really sure yeah. about the bills, let alone um, adding swans. Uh, so let's uh, go for the next question. Did answer it last year, uh, last, last year. And last year. Um, it felt like that long. Sorry. I am going to. Hang on. Um, have you ever thought of changing the path of the chateau that was removed uh, into an orangery conservatory? Um, yes. But I'll be more interested in rebuilding the entire wing. Um, I sort of went into that in the last Q&A. And obviously that video is still there if you want to know a bit more. All right, and you're rocking the table now. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. See, telling me off. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I thought a lot about the terrace. So, uh, um, uh, um, so I've yes, basically, I do. Uh, I do want to do something regarding the terrace uh, in the future, but I have to price that up first, obviously. Um, cool. La, la, la. Uh, what about Brexit? Uh, not really um, a subject I talk about. Um, it's such a difficult question, but also. Yeah, it's just not a subject we talk about. Okay, yeah. uh, we're, we're not find a couple more of the questions. Sorry, guys. Oh, cool. We're back. Sorry, you are in and out a bit. I do apologize. Um, so what's our next DIY project? Uh, great question. There's about 20 on the go at once, uh, all the time here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, that's never particularly easy to uh, f uh, find the next one because we kind of work multiples all at the same time. Um, if I'm honest, it's not in the chateau. It's out. The next thing I've got to do is the horse bar for our events. Otherwise, we're going to have nowhere to serve drinks out of. So I guess that's my next big DIY project. And um, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Bar. Who wouldn't? And I'd, I, I can't wait to start um, decorations. And I think uh, this week um, I will start some uh, bunting, uh, which I need a lot of. It's a question that was asked last week. But, yeah, I do need to get on with it now that I'm back um, and we sort of slightly refresh ourselves. Cool. Uh, Angelina, do you make your own clothes? Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not good at all at sewing. I'm really a novice. Um, I don't. And most of my clothes normal clothes turn into working clothes <laughs> so I've lost a lot of my clothes um it's one of those things you wear and I'll be careful I'll just do a little quick paint before you, you know it you've got you know stain on where it's another gone to the heap pile of working clothes so it's a terrible terrible habit I have but uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh Ruth no domestic table dispute on live don't worry um just pointing out that it's a little bit hypocritical to tell me off um true story right um uh, yes uh, i do apologize yeah i'm sure lots of people in france have an issue with uh live chats it's the signal speed 
Uh, you just don't get particularly fast internet anywhere out here. Fiber, mm. fiber optic is uh, a distant thought. So um, uh, I do. Uh, yeah, we apologise. Cool. Um, a couple more um, uh, bespoke homes by Marco. Do you think you'll be able to oh. find the matching granite if you rebuild the wing? I, d- well, I know where the rest of the house is. I mean, I suppose we could buy it and knock it down and bring it back. But um, you, there's a there's a stone quarry, there's a granite quarry in Fougere. The granite would have come from for the chateau. But to be 100% honest, it wouldn't be worth rebuilding uh, the main structure with granite. You would be better off using block and uh, the double skin with cavity because you're going to hide it inside. And uh, Lost yeah. connection. Cool, back. As I was saying, uh, it would be block better than anything else. It's going to be hidden under lime render on the outside and then um, with however you decorate the rooms on the inside, but plaster. Um, so no point in doing the granite, but the, the dress stone stuff I can get, which would be very nice. Um, cool. Right. Um, did you get the go-ahead for your outside event? And when is the first event? Uh, isn't that a bit complicated? Because we got the provision, yeah. uh, and it's going to be the 22nd of August. We have then, our area of France has gone uh, back to amber and then back to red. Whilst we were away mm. um, down in Bordeaux, he went into red. Mm. And then um, also there were, you know, some cases close by of um, the virus. So we need to get extended permission from the... Um, it's called the prefecture. It's the... Region? The sort of, yeah, the region. Uh, I think it's the, the best way to describe it, yeah. Yeah. So. so, unfortunately, we've had a yes, and then we've had a hold off, So, um, which is quite upsetting, I guess, in the way. I mean, I'll try to avoid that question, but you might as well, might as well answer it. Uh, it's just because you're sort of, yes, 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 great, okay. Um, it's the first time, I think, really, COVID has properly uh, affected us. You know, the, the other guys, sort of, they're starting to be able to get guests. They're getting busy again. They're getting... Uh, business in even though they, yeah. and no one could get any earlier in the year I wasn't affected earlier in the year um, you know we weren't affected earlier in the year because we didn't have uh, accommodation bookings where people had them cancelled because I knew our events were here so I kind of always stayed really really positive about everything being back to a sort of normal level by now that our events could go on and the world could we, we might, might not be affected hugely mm. uh, and it looks like we're going to have a year of, uh, of no money uh, at all um so yeah uh sorry i went into that uh, a little bit longer but um it's it's a bit difficult um so i'm gonna move on from that I might cry um cool do you have to be a legal resident or special visa to own and operate a chateau absolutely depends mm. who uh what country you're from so um if you national as the british are currently still uh, then uh, no problem. Um, can you shake in the table Sorry. again? Naughty. <laughs> um, yeah, it's um, you can uh, indeed uh, operate, own a chateau. Um, you can own property as any national, um, in any country national. It's about how long you can be here. So that's that. Um, sorry, guys. We've got uh, someone that's obviously just. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much um, for, the for, for the for the. That's really helpful. Have we got aircom? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, further, really, really, really simple. No, um, we don't need it uh, that much, to be honest. Um, the walls are a meter thick granite, so it's very, very cool inside when it's very hot outside. It's only um, really further south that you'll need aircon, and I think you might really wish we had it a couple of days a year. It's not that bad. It, most of the time, it's very, very good, and the house is particularly cool. Yeah, I think it's sometimes, like, I prefer, like, sometimes I'll be working outside, and then it's really hot, and then you walk in, and the blast of cold is amazing. Even with the door open, there's this invisible barrier. It's incredible. <laughs> and um, it, it just hits you, and uh, it's so lovely and refreshing. But then you sit there for a while, and then have your lunch, and you're just like, I'm a bit cold all of a sudden because you've been out all day. So then you end up going outside to be in the warmth and the heat. And 
Um, the way it works, so granite, we our walls are meter thick. So imagine that, that's really, really thick. And so it, it takes a while to heat up the house, something like 45 minutes, and then it retains the heat. That's More like the 45 winter. 45 days. Stop it. <laughs> that's the winter. And then summertime, it just um, naturally sort of insulates and keeps it all... Um, nice and lovely and um it's just a really nice ballot it's, it's amazing so no and we are we don't get really that hot there's four seasons here um i think the hottest it gets like 32 perhaps the average is 30 and below and um it's it's not dry because we're surrounded by water so that that helps um and um it's 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 just natural it's yeah. lovely so we don't have a problem with too much heat basically mm. so thank you for the question yeah cool so uh are we getting the, the question is getting lost i'm really sorry guys <laughs> um there's quite a good one here actually prior to your own wedding at chateau did you have to return to the uk to get married initially no so uh we it was, we got married in france yeah. So you have to, um, it's a, there's more hoops to jump through. That's all it is. So when you see a wedding on the TV shows and it's English people, mm. they're here. Um, yeah, the the weddings, um, our connection's on stage. Okay. So I think we're frozen. Oh, we we're go. back. Sorry, we froze there. <laughs> Bad connection. So, yeah, um, you know, all in total, it would require you to take 45 days of work. That includes the honeymoon at the end of your 30 days of residency. So I don't think anyone does it. People get married, hire out for your weddings and have a wonderful and perfect weather. And you basically have a stage part what it is. Um uh, Darlene uh, much, VM, Darlene. Thank, thank you so much. Um, it, it wasn't necessary, but thank you. It, it will really help. Thank you. Um, let's just go. They've got a couple of bits and pieces here. <laughs> Hold on. Somebody wants to know about a um, Phil, where he acquired all yeah. his handy skills. Uh, made up when I went as I go along. Uh, no, um, honestly, my grandfather was quite handy, and I looked, uh, watched him do a little bit. Mostly my stepfather. Um, my mum and my stepdad have been doing up their house for uh, as long as they've been in it. Mm. Uh, still not quite done. Um, so I just kind of watched and learned. And I think anyone can do anything if you watch and think it through before doing it. So that's kind of uh, what I do. Um, oh, here we go. Just going to wait. Cool. Sorry, guys, it's in now. So, um, if if I if I've done never done the job before and I don't know if I can do it, I just I look at the cost of paying someone to do it, and then the cost of the materials, uh, doing it twice. So if I muck it up the first time and I then go, yeah, do you know what? That's that's great. If if even having the materials done twice, it's way cheaper. Then I'll give it a go because you're still definitely going to come off cheaper. So um, I've got caught out a few times that though. Um, my sister's asked the question why and what and how. And my dad actually um, taught me how to use a car a little bit, um, just so that I'm not stranded and helpless when um, difficulty strikes. So that's quite technical and quite difficult. Um, but otherwise, when I tried to show me, you know, how to do something that is like, meaningful like i don't know um how to you know put a nail in the in the wall and you know just regular things like this it just gets you more confidence and uses your brain as to what to do especially when the electrics are out he'll be like is it the bulb is it the switch is it the fuse box you go through these steps yeah. so it's been really really helpful and of course youtube is amazing and it helped us and taught us and we do a lot of research just like you guys i guess final do you ever see a time the chateau will be completed so you can start relaxing living a little bit more you do slow down i think um i know other people in chateaus obviously and they do slow down um i just there's a certain point where you get it's like the fourth bridge it never really stops you know you get to one end painting it and then you just go back and start again chateau is going to be exactly the same by the time you've finished everything you're just going to go back to the first things you did and they're going to need doing again um that's just part of it i guess um it would it would be like it would be nice to slow down a little bit it, i can say that um you can see by the bags on the miles it'd be nice to slow down a bit 
delusional. No, I do agree on the fourth bridge, which is very famous in Scotland. It's red, it's beautiful. And the story of it is that they paint it every year. And as soon as they finish painting it on the other end, they have to return and start painting it all over again. So the chateau is a bit like this. I do feel like that because... I pull out and blah, 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 you know, maintain. And then when I start other projects, I'll have to return to that project to maintain it or do something else where it's overgrown by then. So it's a bit difficult um, um, <laughs> what we do here. Yeah, so good. Yeah. yeah thanks. Um, we're back live. <laughs> uh, we do have some amazing here now which i think is going to revolutionize um what we do here and um how quickly the clear up process and transformation of these places and it has taken us a few years to realize that we need those now um and because we, we get tired and we are also getting older and um but it it was a it was a really tough decision because financially you know they do cost a lot but it's um it's well yeah yeah, I mean, I, one of the favourite questions is always, uh, what's the most... <laughs> See if we're getting some comments, but um, here we go. So I had one a minute ago, because it's a quick answer. What's happening with my boat? Um, it's just deteriorating further because I wasn't allowed in the country to do anything. I'd, I'd kind of put some time away for March... I thought I can get a couple of weeks away, sort of 10 days, try to get a decent amount of work with it done. And then, of course, not allowed to travel, just locked down in the house here. So um, nothing. And I'm going to have to try to find some time in September. But unfortunately, that's not going to be uh, a great time to do work that you might have to leave because it needs to be uh, sorted out for winter at that point. So you don't get quite as much done because you're more just making sure it's uh, as safe as possible for winter and then start again. So um uh, another year, the poor boat sits to one side. Um, thanks, COVID. Um, cool. There. Do do. Um, uh, Nikki, like the glass? Yeah, there are plastic event cups. We like those. We had them. Uh, we had them printed. Uh, we have to be safe here because um, obviously we're surrounded by water, and we do have to go into it um, when we drop things and obviously fish live there and everything like that and obviously there are children here as well and animals and wildlife and um our first event we were serving you know bottles and things like that and a uh, glass we, we didn't feel like it was safe or the right thing to do so we um we we spent some time searching around to find a supplier um in france who could deliver those and yeah, we got them. So this is our pint one, and we have a half a pint smaller one. Um, the plastic, really durable, and of course, beautiful logo, which actually makes it a really nice souvenir. So um, yeah, that, these are the greatest things that we, <laughs> we did think of. And the best thing is that for food-wise, um, the forks, Okay, and we're back. So, what project would I like to do but can't because of COVID? Uh, joking aside, uh, I would like to rebuild the other wing of the house, but that's just not going to happen anytime quickly. Um, mainly for time, but mostly the money. I mentioned it's the, the, the look I get that you're all seeing. Um, cool. Da, 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 da. Right. Um, what do you know? What time do we normally start our day, or are we night owls? Always thinking you have more to work to do. Um, I no. Uh, uh, sometimes I can't sleep, and when I can't sleep, I'll do research on on my phone. I'll be literally middle of the night. But then that means I'll go to bed at eight a.m. So say I'll wake up at three and I can't sleep. I'll do a few hours of research, go to sleep at eight. And then Phil will wake up and um, it uh, interrupts the working progress of certain things, of schedule, but still get things done. I'm quite happy to work until late, like 10 p.m., um, just doing, you know, bits and pieces. Um, but the usual routine should be 
<laughs> nine till whatever, nine till seven, I guess. Um, our dog likes to eat at seven and he does let us know when he wants food. He'll start to go, woo, 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 woo. And um, yeah, that's that means mommy and daddy, I'm hungry. Let's all sit and eat together. Mm -hmm. He does like to eat together, which is so nice. Yeah, but mainly because it forces <laughs> us to actually eat. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, I just, I like getting up at a reasonable time to, to get the day started, but um, it, it's about finishing times and I get up and I just wake up in the middle of the night uh, and suddenly think of something and then I can't back, get back to sleep. So, um, mm. yeah, it can be overwhelming, but I'm a sort of 100 ideas a day person. Uh, 10 are even a, a slightly a diamond in the rough and the rest are no good, but I write them now all down. So, uh, cool. How many rooms are in the chateau and how many secret rooms? I think it's 13 bedrooms. I don't uh, know. I think, yeah, 13 bedrooms, only because there are numbers on them. And uh, we haven't uh, really utilized all of them for that reason. We've converted yeah. some into office and into uh, my workshop uh, and, I don't know, storage. And uh, there's only a few, basically, for friends and family. Um, some have some infestations of ants currently <laughs> and yeah. you know some are not done up so you know it's it's this is why some are basically storage so to speak yes so um you can't really do much so uh it is what it is cool i know sorry uh she drank it all cool um da, 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 da. Uh, is this chateau built for defense? Um, no, 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 not at all. Um, th there was one here um, back in the 1150 or something that was built for defense. Uh, once that was knocked down, no, uh, it was just happened to be built on the island from the original one. So um, uh, most have been rebuilt through their time. Uh, but no, this one was never defense. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Let me just try to get through. Um, do we have ghosts? Uh, no, no, no. Um, none that I've experienced. I have tried to scare my friends when they stayed here by moving the taxidermy that's in the house to outside their rooms, uh, which worked very, very well. They didn't leave. <laughs> um, uh, the room that night, that is, they're, they're not, yeah, they have left the house. Um, we did, yeah. we did think of, um, of um, putting like a zip liner through the hallway and then attaching like this old dress on it on a hook and <laughs> at night sending it around and um, and I don't know just leaving stuff outside doors as a joke um, for our friends um, who, who were talking about it and we were like no there's no ghosts so yeah, <laughs> yeah. But otherwise we don't have ghosts um, thank you for your question I guess you're a huge lover of shadows so <laughs> thank you so much and thank you 1010 events um, it really helps we'll use that to buy a coffee <laughs> yeah super um, yes let me just there's uh, is the gift shop ready two moments is oh. the gift shop ready uh, we are just going through, um, I say research development, no, product testing product phase. Product testing phase, yeah. basically. We, yeah. But, which basically means clothing uh, um, being worn in the way we wear clothing and trying to destroy it and washing it repeatedly and seeing how well it comes up. So um, uh, it's doing quite well. Once we're really happy with the quality, then we'll be getting everything out. Um, so, yeah, yeah we're, we're close, guys. We're close. Um, uh, and thank you for asking. You know, it'd be nice to... Yeah, so we didn't want to send uh, them out, um, you know, in a rush. Um, and yes, it looks pretty, but you need to know, you know, if there would be any faults, especially after washing as well. Um, because the thing is, we don't really want you to be angry with the product, um, even though it might pretty uh, look pretty at first. Um, we want you to be completely satisfied and happy, as would we be, because as well, we will be using and wearing the same product. So we want it 100% to be great. And um, I think, yeah, I guess if that delays it slightly, then um, so be it. But yeah, we're almost there, really. You've seen me wear um, the T-shirts. In fact, I'm wearing one now. Um, uh, it's, um, yeah, it's almost there. Just washing them and drying them and then seeing how it goes. But there'll be a few different designs that you guys can pick from. 
Super. Um, so I'm just trying to go back and then and come through, guys. So uh, when I return to the UK, is it to obtain an income uh, to support the chateau and its costs? It's to look after our business, which uh, is, yeah, is the main contributor to this, especially in this year. Although with everything going on, that's not, um, it's not uh, quite as easy as it has been previously. Um, just it isn't for everyone around the world at the moment. So, um, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those years, isn't it? Um, and I haven't had to travel quite as much recently because I've been loud. So yeah, which which hasn't really helped because um, there are things you know uh, in backlog and delayed. But uh, we will will go back mm. um, shortly because there is quite a lot of things to sort out. So you know it's been a terrible year for for a lot of people. So we're not the only ones in that boat. Um, so I guess um, we just push on and carry on trying to do what we're doing and carry on working and what else can you do really so it's kind of a nice thought that we're all together yeah. in this um, but uh, yeah the chateau still well. requires some money to be spent on it so uh, we'll just you know crack on working harder for this year whatever the remaining of it is mm. so um, there's an interesting one because I think you, it's a really it, you know, I like the question. Is there ice skating on the water um, there in the winter? No. Um, it's the, the it never doesn't really get cold enough. There's, I think, the harshest winter that we've had since we've been here. We've had, we've had about minus five uh, degrees Celsius for maybe a week, and uh, the, you know, the the lake around the house and stuff did freeze over in huge places. I wouldn't have risked going on it, and certainly not for ice skating. The dog, however, decided he was going to risk going on there because he wanted to go off for a walk by himself and walked out across the frozen lake, and, and he was off. Uh, who knows where he went? And we found him eventually. But uh, um, I wouldn't. It's not really. It doesn't get cold enough here. We're not quite that uh, quite that cold. So um, sadly, no ice skating. Um, yeah, yeah. Never no, no, no time, though. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, he was safe and he was a bit cold. And to think huskies don't really get cold because of their fur, but he was submerged there for quite some time. Not submerged, but like standing in it. Um, and uh, yeah, he's That's silly. That's a completely different time. Oh, are you not talking? I'm talking about oh. when he walked across the ice. Oh, sorry. What are you on about? <laughs> I'm talking about when he... It was the same month, and he chased the ducks or something, and he just stood there, and then uh, he got caught up in a bit of the, the um, Bramble. roots and brambles uh, of the tree, and he was like silent because he doesn't make any noise. Huskies don't really make noise, and I was like lightning, lightning, and I come out of the boat to try and search for him, and yeah, he's a silly dog, but he's learned. And he doesn't go in the water anymore. He's safe <laughs> because yeah. mummy has told him he has to stay in. Okay, you can see how much you pay attention to me, can't you? <laughs> um, cool. Look, there's, there's a really good one here. So do you think it's financial suicide taking a shatter on? <laughs> um, uh, it can yeah. be. Yeah. It's, it's. I think there's also a question of how much does it take to run it um, that a lot of people actually always ask. And we kind of said it in the show. So... They'll, I guess, uh, explain it properly. It, it, oh. Do you know what? Every chateau is absolutely different. Uh, it depends how much work you're doing, uh, you know, insulation, heating costs. Everything's different. Uh, is it financial suicide? No. Is it a great business idea? No. Um, you know, I don't think it. Is, I don't think it is this as something that's going to make you rich. I think it's something that's fantastic if you want a lifestyle um so uh, what, what i mean by yeah. that is i don't mean it's not going to make any money i just if you're thinking about investing in something then there are many many better places to put your money yeah um it's uh, it's 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 all about the lifestyle um you work really hard but the rewards are fantastic because we've already seen comments about the birds and the fantastic sound that's what we hear every day yeah um what you guys see in a video and you go oh, look at that view or or, or aren't the colors the trees are amazing we wake up to that um so you know you can go out to work every day or you can uh, put your money in something else and it'll make a lot more but i think it's all about a lifestyle the, the thing is, I think to roughly, this this is the way we probably calculated. We were like, okay, 
So how much each month do we have to pay, um, uh, including bills? Okay, you roughly think of the bills, right? And then you, and then the rest of the costs are a bit unexpected, and you kind of allow a little bit. But I think the bigger the place, as in land, um, the more uh, you're gonna need money on the machinery because we started with a. Um, basic a small lawnmower uh, ride on and it worked um, but actually you know this place needs bigger ones because you end up wasting a lot of fuel just taking the grass cuttings back to where they need and basically wasting time and then uh, I guess the, the size of the house depends how old it is you know you need lots of parts as which we order anyways a lot of but imagine if it's super old then you're going to need to order a lot of um parts and you know screws and i don't know just things you know um it kind of like phil has always sort of starts on something and it just as soon as he touches it it kind of crumbles in his hands <laughs> so which is why he doesn't like doing certain things because he's just like oh here we go again it's just gonna break in my hands and then the shop are gonna be closed and not have the part in stock so that's just reality but i think you can't you can never calculate it's not realistic i don't think and um Sorry, it's a bit vague. Can't really say a figure because there isn't one. You know, each chateau is different um, and each house is different as well. But you can sort of roughly gauge and then, you know, huge extras. Yeah. Uh, cool. So a couple of really cool questions, guys. Um, um, so 10, 10. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I'm, trying, I'm yeah. just trying to get to that. Sorry. Um, what do you most enjoy about a chateau and what are your favorite things to do? everything yeah i don't know you know what uh, i'm gonna be honest um i really enjoy um having the time to understand myself explore myself like in terms of like what am i great at when i first moved in here i had a bit of creativity and now i have the time i don't have really anyone breathing down my neck to start a job at a certain time and finish at a certain time you need to look at here. Thanks. Times, if you can yeah. help me with that, yeah. yeah. But I was trying to read questions. Perfect. We're go. live back again. <laughs> um, so I like exploring uh, what, you know, trying new projects and see if I'm good at them. And if I am, then that's great. I'll try and perfect or do more of them. But if I'm not good at them, then I know to give up on that, probably pay someone else to do it will never do that project ever again. Um, but you know what? It's, it's, it's a really helpful learning curve. Uh, as you complete or do one project, even if you're not good at it, um, you might be better at something similar to it um, and basically try and restore things or mend things and maintain things. It just gets your brain ticking. So that's what I enjoy about being here is the freedom to try out things that i would normally never would yeah i think i think for me it's a similar thing um i'd love to say the thing i most enjoy is uh, watching the sun go down with a cold glass of wine and, and thinking wow but uh, it never happens i know i never get a chance uh, i'm always doing something um i enjoy getting to the end of the day and physically being able to see the the fruits of your labor which when you work in an office as i did in, in london for you know sort of 13 14 years then it's it's much uh, somebody said sunny days give you more energy, Sheila. <laughs> oh, uh, no, they just give us more hours of working time. <laughs> yeah, I personally, I'm okay in winter. Phil's a bit depressed and sad. And, um, you know, he struggles to pick up his energy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, summer is great for everyone, isn't it? You have more friends coming around. It's great, greater energy and um, positivity all around. Cool. I'm just going to try to find the uh, couple of stuff like that. Um, uh, alternative accommodation. No. Um, we are, this is going to answer two questions because somebody else asked how, how much land have we got? Only six acres here. So everywhere, uh, the other question is, would we consider boats, caravans, etc. alternative accommodation? Also, no, um, in as much as there's not enough space where it's not going to infringe in. Also, no. Um, in as much as there's not enough space where it's not going to infringe in uh, the other things that we do. So, um, uh, you know, that's two questions in one there. Um, cool. How we clean the moat? We have had a quote. 
uh, regarding um, having it dredged properly. Uh, and it was, um, quote, but it was, I think, about 6,000. Yeah. Uh, and that's us helping. It's basically, um, uh, it was like 350 a day. And there are uh, three sections to do, which is going to take about three weeks or though, or, or yeah. us helping with it. Um, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's, it's unfortunately, um, especially not, this not year, not going to be... Uh, not going to be high on the agenda, so we're going to have to do whatever we can to to struggle by. Um, last, literally, just the last couple. Uh, I do. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, there's somebody. There's a horrible person on here. I apologise. Um, I'm just going to remove that person if I can. I don't know what. Just ignore him. Um, yeah. Here we go. Super. Um, right, do we have a pool of local people you can call upon for your events, musicians, go out and experience them? Um, um, I say it's not that much of a hardship having to go out and listen to a band um, at a bar playing, but um, when you've got to travel long, long distances all around, it, it is, you hear some uh, very good mm -hmm. people, and you hear some um, uh, you know, you're quite good for their level people, uh, and, you, and everything in between. So, um, yeah, we, we've got a great pool now, but it's taken quite a long time to, yeah. uh, uh, to, to build up and also know the people that you can work with, mm. um, who you can rely upon. Um, and we enjoy like going uh, now to support them. And well, you get to on. Oh, it's gone off yep. again. I think here we go. Yeah, we're back live. <laughs> uh, we enjoy going to see them, support them, uh, and at the same time, you get to see other bands or musicians or performers. And uh, when we go to um, places with artisans as well or, or uh, markets, then we get to explore the local artisans. So it's all part of. You know what, guys? Listen, the um, just there's some fan. Listen, there's some stuff here. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going. What we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to wrap it up there. There's okay. A, yeah, there was. There's a good last question. People were asking him from the vlogs. Uh, did I find the answer of where the working trousers are from that I'm wearing? No, I just got back. Um, I haven't had time to look. I'm going to be honest. I will have a look and I will let you guys know in the next vlog, which is going to be on Saturday. Um, there's going to be a whole heap of awesome tools because uh, we really cracked on and did lots of stuff here. And um, I'll put the, um, you know, in the usual shop um they are going to be awesome because it is quite hard to find female trousers and i'm not wearing so oh, cool. I'm going oh off. <laughs> I think we're, yeah two seconds that was like sign mm. <laughs> okay guys look the internet uh going in now is trying to tell us we've talked too much uh sorry um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say um, send wine for me for next time. Thank tell you her. from all of you from all over the world for joining us. Um, we are in sunny France, albeit quite late. And offline. <laughs> yeah, stand offline. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I think it's coming through. Cool. Listen, um, we, we're literally we are literally wrapping up. I'm sorry before the internet goes again. So thank you so much uh, for watching, everyone, guys. Yeah. It's been great. Angelina's got um, something to say. Yep. Yeah, next vlog again. Uh, I'll repeat is on Saturday. So cool. enjoy watching that. Thank you very much, all of you. Uh, uh, and of course, don't forget to have a look at uh, look through the comments, the description, and um, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 <laughs> this is lovely. Yes. End. Good.